Hey guys, happy New Year's guys. Today is January January 3rd. Um, and it's actually 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, it's very early. I'm getting my morning coffee in. Cheers. Salud. And uh, uh, today's topic is going to be secret societies. Um, so I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this. I, I, I've touched on my experiences and what, what, what I saw metaphysically with, with, you know, as far as the power players go on this planet. But I don't think I've ever properly talked about this topic ever. On, you know, it, since I've been on YouTube, and it definitely is an, an, an important topic to talk about. Um, because let's just get right into it. There's a trend where when people start waking up metaphysically, spiritually, and and waking up into more spiritual knowledge, and and, and they start trying, you know, going branching out, seeking knowledge, uh, um, speak, seeking more spiritual and metaphysical information, whether it's online, mostly online, but or or reading books, or talking to friends. Uh, there's a recurring theme where everybody becomes everybody becomes interested in in the idea of secret societies, uh, occultic practices, uh, the Illuminati, you know, this kind of stuff, and uh, <laughs> um, it's it's a natural progression when it when it comes to like waking up in this world in this modern world when you're waking up to to metaphysical and spiritual information you're you're, you're going to run into this. Uh, subject this topic and you're definitely going to be curious and, and be interested in, in want to know more about it um because it's all knowledge and and uh, wisdom that's been kept from us and um these people that that are you know part of the secret part of these secret societies are the ones that kind of you know retain some of that knowledge and so naturally as you're looking up meditation energy chakras how to meditate astral projection you look you're also looking up Secret government stuff, uh, ETs, UFOs, occultic practices, esoteric knowledge, uh, um, of the Illuminati, you know. And so I do, I do want to talk about this because it's actually a very fascinating and inter interesting topic. Um, there, there are secret societies and practices. If you look at the long span, the long arc of history on on Earth with humans, there is plenty of evidence that supports the. Um, fact that secret societies do exist and uh if, like, like let's say for example here let, let's look at more recent uh recent history uh if you look at the soviet union for example um there are all these masonic lodges who are connect connected with the bolshevik circle and eventually they they overthrew the czar right um if you and that's like the foundation that was part of the initial uh foundation of the soviet union uh, the 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 initial formation of it and if you look at hitler for example pre-world war ii but also during world war ii hitler um was very much in it like interested and involved in many different uh secret societies occultic practices esoteric stuff occultic knowledge uh, uh all of these things he was so into and hitler had a uh a private book collection where it, I, I believe it was like a good ten thousand books or more uh, more than more than ten thousand books, and a vast majority of those books were all on occultic uh, practices and secret societies. Uh, if you look at the SS, for example, they were literally modeled after um, different occultic rituals and practices. Uh, whenever an SS soldier died, whether it was in the line of duty or or, or whatnot, um, they would take they would take the ring of that soldier of of that SS uh, officer. And they would, you know, have a ceremony and then bury it. I mean, it was a whole thing with with Hitler and the Nazis. They 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 were so much into this stuff. Um, uh, if you look at religions today, uh, many religions uh, and 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 different um, sects of, of different religions um, have different branches that that are more esoteric and occultic in, in nature. For example, Islam has the Sufis, right? Um, the Jewish they have the the Kabbalah. Um, and even the Druids, for example, going back, uh, uh, you know, centuries and centuries ago, um, everything kind of, if you if you look, if you peel away the layers, you, you, you're going to find, whether it's politics or religion, um, you're going to find some evidence of, of secret societies and occultic practices. Um, so why, why is it that people are interested in, in these things? Why, 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 why? Are there secret societies? Well, it's it's simple. Um, these people are, are really no different than you and I. 
um, in the sense that they, they're trying to discover the truth. They're trying to find the secrets to, to life. They're trying to find, uh, you know, what it really means to be in a body, what, what the meaning of life is, etc. And, and, and all the uh, uh, unseen, the metaphysical and the spiritual um, elements and, and there is to, to being in a body, to, to having a life, you know. And they're, they're, they're aware that there's more to life than just this, right, and working and, and making money and, 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 and having a family and a home. They're, they're, they're aware there's so much more, and they want that knowledge. And when they get that knowledge, they become, quote-unquote, the illuminated ones. And therefore, because they have the secret knowledge, they start taking things over because they're the illuminated ones. They have the knowledge. Um, they start forming secret societies. They start, you know, forming little little secret clubs of Freemasons and skulls, and bo skull and bones, etc. Where you know, skull and bones, they were connected with the Bushes and, and John Kerry, I believe. Um, many different politicians and, and and heads of state and people with uh, uh, power and authority. So you have these people throughout history who who have this knowledge, who who, who manage to obtain, uh, um, um, you know some sort of esoteric or, 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 or you know, uh, occultic practices, knowledge, etc. And, you know, they, 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 they love uh, symbolism. They love numerology. That, you know, uh, if you look at uh, uh, Washington, D.C., for example, I mean, America is no different than, than the Soviet Union, than, than the foundation of the Soviet Union or, or uh, um, um, uh, Hitler. It, it's, it's, you know, if you look at the, uh, the founding fathers here in America, um, they're all Masons. And if you look at Washington, D.C., you look at the layout, the architectural layout of, of, of D.C., it, it's, it's very symbolic. A lot of symbolism there. <laughs> you know, we, we do this just, just, I mean, in broad daylight, right? Um, we do this just as much as uh, uh, the Soviet Union did when, when the Masonic Lodges, who, with the Bolshevik Circle, overthrew the Tsar, you know, or, or with Hitler and, and the SS, like, and everything he did. Like, we, we do... A lot of what we have is similar. Um, America is no different. So you have these people who who are uh, who are who are quote unquote the illuminated ones, and, and because they're illuminated, because they have knowledge, they should have the power. And so it's no it's no uh, coincidence that you see people who are um, part of secret societies like the Masons or the Illuminati or or different occultic practices. You, it's no coincidence that you see these people that they usually have. Um, positions of power and authority, and whether it's government or different private companies or corporations, and then they start going out and taking taking over different governments, countries, etc., or even the whole world. Um, so, well, how do you? So then, so then you got to ask, okay, that's a really interesting theory. How do you prove it? You know, where's the evidence in, in this? Which is a fair question to ask. Well. The way I see it is this. Things keep happening, right? Negative things that go towards a negative direction keep happening, and yet there's no real explanation to it. For example, take America, for example. Big, powerful country. Uh, big economy, big military. Uh, uh, America is a great place to live if you are at the top of your class. You know, if, if brilliant people from all over the world, come here to work, come here to, 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 um, you know, network and work with other people to create amazing and innovate and create amazing things and, and products and, and, and services and whatnot. Um, if you know, this America is a great, great place to be. If you're at the top of your class, whether you're a mathematician, you're a, you know, a engineer, you're a scientist, you're a physicist, um, uh, there's a lot of opportunity here for, for, you know, for people. And so it attracts people from all over the world to come here and work. Okay, so you have this great big country with a lot of smart people, brilliant minds who, 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 who do things that affect the whole world, right? Um, whatever happens here ripples out everywhere. So why is it that here in America, and I love this country, but why is it that we have currently a sitting president that's essentially an 80-year-old dementia patient? who speaks in choppy and fragmented sentences, who has difficulty uh, expressing themselves or, or even talking in general or speaking. You know, it, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. Well, that's really easily explained when, when, when you acknowledge that there's a presence of, of – uh, there's a potential presence of, of um, a secret society or somebody 
pulling the strings behind him and he's just a puppet, right? That's easily explained if you if you were to uh, factor that in. Um, because, you know, things keep happening. You have, um, and I'm not political in, 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 in any way. Like, like I'm, not, I'm not political, right? But let's say for argument's sake, I am political, all right? And, and let's also say um, I'm a Democrat which I'm neither. I'm not political. I'm not a Democrat. But let's just, let's just say I am, okay? And let's say it's 2020. And let's say it's election time. I, as Amer an American citizen, as a voter, if I were voting in 2020, and I was a Democrat, I would at least opt to, I would at least opt to, to elect somebody that's, that's competent and, and proficient. Um, if somebody had a had a mental health issue like like a possible case of dementia, I wouldn't ever consider uh, you know giving that person the nuclear codes or putting that person in in a position of power or authority like the presidency of the United States. And yet, and yet somehow this guy got the most votes ever recorded in the history of the U.S. for the presidency. How is that possible? It seems highly unlikely to me. Highly unlikely. I'm not saying that nobody voted for him. I'm sure people voted for him. But this seems highly unlikely. Highly improbable. Highly doubtful, right? For somebody like him who's just so incoherent. Um, uh, he's just absolutely not competent at all. Well, again, that's easily explained if there is a presence of a secret society or somebody pulling the strings and he's just a puppet. It's the same. It's the same with the woke stuff. All this woke nonsense that's 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 going on. All this woke BS. You know, all this propaganda. Um, um, it's the same with WEF, right? Uh, uh, where, where where WEF is telling people that that you're gonna own nothing and you'll like it, uh, uh, or or you'll you're gonna eat insects and you're gonna like it because it's healthier for the planet. You know. It's, it's the same with, with these people like WEF that, that, that gather in these secret little clubs and these secret little groups in the Geneva Convention and, and get together and, and discuss how they're going to control the, the, the whole world in the next 10, 20 years. So that's all that is. I mean, it's, it's very easily explained if, if you acknowledge the presence of a secret society and, and uh, um, you know, somebody else pulling the strings and the, and the people like... Joe Biden in the presidency, they're just puppets. Um, however, I gotta, I gotta say, you know, the whole idea behind all of this, and the, the, I, I mentioned earlier in the video that that they're no different than these people that are part of these uh, secret societies that that do these do these occultic practices are no, no different than us in the sense that, in, in the sense that they don't, they're only looking for knowledge, they're, they're true seekers, they're trying to find the meaning of life, they're trying to, they, they know there's more more to life uh, than than just the physical and. And in that sense, they're no different. However, um, the knowledge that that you know that we're talking about here, the metaphysical and spiritual knowledge, is not meant to be used to control people, to control a population, to enslave, to mentally, emotionally, physically enslave a, a country or, or a population. You know, we we, we, we see this now with, with so many different um, facets of our lives. It's it's meant to help people. It's meant to help. Uh, give people more sovereignty, more liberty. It's meant to help wake you up. It's 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 meant to help make you make you more aware and live a fuller life. Because the metaphysical knowledge is like you know the metaphysical energy. That's like a muscle that you've never used before, right? And now all of a sudden you're using it. But instead of instead of you instead of empowering uh, yourself or them trying to help empower you, they take that knowledge, they hold it, they retain it to themselves. They think you're not worthy enough to to have this knowledge, and then they use it to control people. To control the population, to control a country, to control the government, to control the world. Um, that's what they do. And uh, that's why I like to come out here and, you know, talk and share um, different things on, 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 you know, different metaphysical and spiritual topics, right? Uh, because it, it's it's about everybody. It, it's about helping as many people as you possibly can. It's about helping people wake up, become more self-aware. Um, all of it is... is for your own personal freedom, your own liberty, your own sovereignty, uh, your own self-awareness. And, and But they take this knowledge and they use it to control you and they use it to control the, the population. Um, do I believe that... So so you have the secret society 
right? These secret societies that control everything. Um, do you know now? Now, now, now the question, like now, now you got to ask the question: Does that mean there's no free will and everything you do is controlled and blah blah blah? No, I don't think so. Um, I think the world is too nuanced, and I, and, I, and I mentioned this before: the world is too complicated. There's too many moving parts. It, it, there's so many layers when you start peeling it back to 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 to, to, to this world to, to to life on this planet that um it, no they don't control every facet of your life and everything you do and I mentioned this before when when it comes to the other side as well and how the other side can run this side but I don't believe that everything every little thing you do is ran and controlled by the other side it's the same thing with these secret societies and how they want to control you through the governments and and the corporations and the media I don't believe that I don't believe that um. They have complete control over you. It's too nuanced. It's too complicated. There's too many layers to, to this world. Uh, but I do believe that there are trends, right? Trends that happen uh, every decade or so and where they try to lean the general public and push and direct the general public like a, like, a, like a wave or a river and try to make everybody flow into a certain trend, a certain direction. And, and that's, how they, that's what they do to control people. And uh, the people like like that you know that are watching this video watching me and I'm not trying to make a big deal about myself at all. I'm just saying I, I acknowledge that people that that are watching you guys are awake and aware and you guys have broken away from these trends you know and you guys have went on to 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 discover and try to find your your you know not just your personal truth but but you know the 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 real uh, metaphysical and spiritual information out there that that that'll help you wake up and and give you more sovereignty and liberty and and help you become more free. Uh, free as a person because these people want to control you they're, they're control freaks you know they're they're they're, they're uh, abusive controlling you know negative and but they want to control you and and that's the problem is that that when you have this knowledge you have this information it, it, it liberates you it gives you more sovereignty it also helps you become more self-aware it helps you become more of, more of who you are as a person as as an individual as a sovereign spirit as a, you know um so I don't believe they control everything, but there are there are trends, and they try to push the general populace to uh, the general populace into these trends, and and to, you know uh, it's not it's everything is more of a, of a a statistic to them. So if they have like a good portion of of, of the population, like let's say ninety percent or ninety five percent of the population going towards a certain way. They're happy, you know. There's always going to be people that that are going to break away from what you know <laughs> the matrix. I guess we'll call it. I don't, I don't know. You know the, the system, the matrix that, that are going to break away, and and they know that. Um, but they don't let them get too far or too big because once somebody gets too big and they start speaking against the system, uh, uh, they shut them down, right? Uh, all of a sudden, that person is suicided. All of a sudden, that person, you know, whatever. Um, uh, this happens a lot. They're they're silenced. They're 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 quelled. They're quenched. They're, they're you know they're 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 <clears throat> uh, they shut them up. So you don't want people with influence and with 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 public that has a public image with influence to to be able to speak too 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 loudly on this or you know the people that control everybody you know um, are gonna are gonna uh, get upset and uh, uh, silence them and uh, that's the. Uh, uh, main attribute right there of somebody that's a control freak, you know, that that's, that that wants to control people. Um, um, they uh, uh, they don't want other people's opinions, and um, so I believe that uh, you know um, the world is too nuanced and complicated for them to control every facet of your life. But they but these trends like what you see going on right now with uh, uh, the woke stuff, right? All the woke stuff, and most of it is 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 being perpetuated through left leaning. Um, politics uh you know you have the woke uh ideologies and you have all these crazy things and all of it you know being done through your smartphones everybody has a smartphone now social media um i really think that's like literally a, a mental cancer um <laughs> you know tiktok instagram all these things that that people consume now um that shorten your attention span right that that uh um make people so so uh anxious uh, you know like especially especially the younger generations man especially like the uh, gen z's that the teenagers and the kids who who now grow up with a with a really powerful computer in their pockets right or they can just pull up anything at any time and most of the information is just nonsense and and just flooding their minds with just complete garbage four or five second dance videos on tiktok and all of a sudden these kids are are, are hyper adhd you know, can't sit still for a second. You can't like this long format video that I'm making right now that you guys are listening to. 
you know, <laughs> these kids aren't going to be able to to uh, uh, sit through a 20, 30 minute video and, and take in all that information and, and absorb it. I mean, they're used to watching a 10 second clip of somebody dancing and doing something stupid over over, over a stupid track, a stupid song on, on TikTok. And that's what they're used to. And that's what they consume. And so that's a trend right now is polluting the, you know, they, they have a very heavy investment on the youth they always have you know controlling the youth and controlling the perception of the youth and and certain countries do this more than i think you know countries like like china and eastern europe these places they they really have a big investment on this and it's more blatant it's more overt uh here in america it's not so so in your face but they everybody does you know because you got to get them when they're young right so um anyway i don't want to go on a rant too too much but uh, that's, in a, you know, pretty much the the general flow that they want to push the population. So, you know, when I um, I've spoken of this before in in, in certain bits here and there, tidbits of of you know the uh, the power players on this planet. Everything I just said when it comes to secret societies and occultic practices and and, and these organizations like the Illuminati, the the Skull and Bones, the Freemasons, the Bilderberg groups, all these people and the presidents, they're actually in the middle. If you look at it like a pyramid structure of power, we are on the bottom. The the people that are like the Illuminati people, the presidents, the, the whatever, the, the Bilderbergs, these guys are in the middle somewhere. They have a little bit of power, but they really don't. They're, they're puppets as well. Um, on the top, you have people that are, are, are the real power players. And I've seen these people for myself with my own metaphysical abilities, with my own metaphysical vision. I've spoken of one time when I went, when I um, astral projected down. You know, I actually, you know, I, I, I've, um, th these are the people that, that, you know, use and run and control organizations like the NSA, the CIA. Um, when, when people uh, think of the NSA, they think of cybersecurity and, 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 and Russian hackers and all this nonsense. It's like that's what they want you to think. But they're actually involved in much more. Uh, they're, you know, they're involved in these things that involve the metaphysical, the, the energies, the spiritual topics, uh, ETs, you know, the technology from that. Um, uh, I've been followed by them for, you know, when I was really waking up, my pineal was really powering up and I was really seeing a lot of stuff. Um, I was... I, I got followed in person by these guys a lot back in 2016, 2017, even 2018. And uh, um, these guys are actually the ones that, that have the, uh, currently anyway, that, that, that you know, kind of are running and controlling things right now. Um, uh, I, I'm going back to what I just said, uh, what, what I was going to talk about. Um, I, I astro projected down under the Vatican, Vatican City. Uh, I would um, do that here and there and... Uh, uh, I think I mentioned this on, on, on video one time where I saw something quite disturbing. No, not so much disturbing, but just really uh, um, uh, interesting, I guess. Um, I wasn't too disturbed by it because I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. Um, and again, I'm not making any of this up. Um, when I when I talk about my personal experiences, I'm not I'm not exaggerating it in any in any sense. I I, I this is like almost verbatim what I saw and I'm trying to keep it as honest as possible. Um, um, I was, uh, astro projecting down the Vatican city and, uh, you know, Vatican city has an underground layer that the, everybody knows about the public, you know, where they have like a library, but it actually goes much further under, under, underground. And what I saw was very far underground, maybe even half a mile, give or take. And I, I found myself when you're astro projecting, you're like your spirits, you know, away, um, the images get built right here in the pineal gland energy field, but your spirit is away doing its thing. Uh, going, but but when when you even, it's like you're in two places at once. You're you're in your physical body here, and then you're you're in your spirit um, body wh wh wherever you you're, you decide to ask for and, and, and go check out. So I was uh, down underneath underneath Vatican City, and I was looking at what I was, um, like. I, I found myself in in a big cavern. And it was underground. It was it's like a, cave it was like very wet the air was very moist um when you get really good when you get really proficient at using your pineal and astral projecting not only are you seeing stuff with imagery you're also feeling it with your heart you're also uh, uh tasting it sometimes you, you might be hearing it you can hear a conversation all the clairs you know clear audience clairvoyance, whatever all that comes into play 
and when you get really proficient with it. And so I was there and I was like looking at, I was looking around, I was like, wow, this is cool. It's like an underground cave. You got these big rocks, these big boulders. And what I saw was like a pathway in the middle of this big, huge open cave, this cavern, a, a walkway. And on the end of the walkway, it was like almost like a throne, like a chair. And I saw these two Roman pillars. It was like, like really old, old, you know, um, just really, really cool looking old, old school, like Roman pillars. And, and in the middle was this chair, almost like a throne. And sitting there was this guy. Uh, I'm gonna call him a guy because he wasn't entirely human, but it was male, very masculine energy, and um, he was like a miniature Godzilla, like a miniature Godzilla, uh, a very muscular, very like big, probably eight, ten feet tall, very old. I felt the energy. It was like this guy was a very old physical body, like like this was like an old man in reptilian terms. So I don't know. Could you know they, their bodies? They they live a lot longer. So he could have been eight hundred years old for all I know. Um, I don't know for sure, but all I saw was the muscle definition, the silhouette of the body. I said, oh my God, this guy's like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. But imagine, you know, that and then, and then 10 times more, you know, there was no neck. It was shoulder muscle. And then, oh, this is, you know, insane, like, like a, like a miniature Godzilla. So you got these, um, uh, reptilian beings who, who who so i looked at him and i and i and i said to myself i said okay this guy is the power play he's the one running run, running the scenes this one he's the real one pulling all the strings behind the scenes you know and um that was pretty pretty evident um uh you know these people that the illuminati the secret societies they they actually don't they, they also take orders you know they they're not um, the, the real ones behind the scenes pulling the strings. <laughs> um, that was just one occasion. I've, I've had many other instances where I, I, you know, I've been looking around, astral projecting, remote viewing, different places, and, and, and seeing who the real, um, real power players are. Uh, that, that one in the Vatican was, was quite, uh, quite profound. I'll tell you about an, another, um, no, uh, like a different uh, uh, instance I, I had when I was remote viewing, uh, I was remote viewing Buckingham Palace. Um, it was like astral projection, remote viewing, doing a little bit of both. But I was curious about that place, and there was something pushing me to go look at it. So I did, and I went underground. Um, and I found myself going very far underground in Buckingham Palace. I mean, we're talking like a couple hundred meters underground, and I found myself in in a very cold, dark small place and it, and it was like jail cells i saw these iron bars and i saw these jail cells if you will um and i said oh my gosh what's going on here you know this is like underneath buckingham palace what the hell this is in the middle of london you know um uh, this is their white house you know and so anyway so i saw these like small little cells and then and then i looked closer astral projecting I moved close to these cells, and I, what I saw there was, and there was very disturbing, very disturbing. Um, I saw kids, children, uh, mostly boys, um, no older than like nine, eight, nine years old, maybe I don't know. And I said, "Oh my gosh, this is this is fucking nuts!" You know, this is crazy. Um, and then I'm looking, I look closer, and and they're like, there's like two kids in a jail cell, and and they're like back to back, and they're chained together, like literally a metal chain wrapped around them. So I can't go anywhere. I said, "Oh my God!" And then, I, and then I saw one of the kids, and, and uh, what I kept seeing this 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 image of, of of this kid just yelling and screaming, screaming, yelling and screaming. And when I looked at the color of his face, he looked so. Uh, uh, um, uh, there's a word for it. Uh, pale? No, no, no. Uh, but bulimic, bulimic. Uh, just you know, so, like like he had no vitamin D at all. Um, no sunlight, you know, just very pale. And, um, I said, oh, that's, that's just terrible. What the hell's going on here? You know? And my first assumption was, is this like pedophilia or something? Naturally, that was my first assumption. But then I looked closer and I said, no, there's something else going on here. Why are they, why do they have these kids here? What the hell's going on? You know, definitely against their will. I mean, they're, whatever they're doing is horrific and, and absolutely disgusting. But uh, when I looked closer and, and, and I really observed it, I realized that they they were being used for like, um, uh, for blood. Um, 
Uh, there was something about the blood that they were consuming, I believe, certain people uh, within Buckingham Palace. And so, those are just examples um, of my personal experiences using my own abilities to see what's actually going on. And I believe these these people are, are the real power players, not so much the the secret societies, or the Illuminati, the the Bilderberg Group, the the Freemasons. These are all people in the middle. These also these are also people that are controlled and manipulated, just like our uh, joke of a president right now. Um, that is pretty much it for uh on this topic hope you guys enjoyed that um or found it fruitful in any way i um uh when i give you guys my personal experiences on things that that i have experienced you know with my metaphysical abilities i'm not exaggerating or, or you know i'm trying to um, um articulate it and, and 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 convey it to you guys to the best of my knowledge and ability and memory um but yeah, the secret societies are, 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 they definitely exist. Uh, but it's just a shame that the knowledge that, that what it's all about when it comes down, like, like I mentioned earlier in this video, it's all about, um, uh, finding out that there's more to life, that the knowledge in this world, that there's more to life than just the average, uh, uh, you know, go to school, get a job, get a home, start a family. Um, and it's just a shame that these societies, instead of sharing the knowledge, because you can't, because you can't control a population when you, when you, you know, enlighten them, right? <laughs> when you empower them with knowledge and wisdom, you can't control them. No. So they keep it to themselves and they call themselves the illuminated ones. Therefore, we are the Illuminati and therefore we will start taking over, you know, because we have the knowledge. Um, you know, I, I've always been about. Uh, helping people obtain more of their own self-liberty, um, more of their own sovereignty, more of their own freedom. That's what it's all about. That's what anybody wants is their own freedom. Nobody wants to be controlled like that. Um, nobody should be either. So, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy New Year's. I hope this was an interesting video. Um, I, I know this topic, there's a lot of different branches we, we could have went off to in this topic. This is a very generalized uh, uh, discussion on the topic of secret societies. Um, there's a lot of it. I don't, you know, there's a lot of things I don't know about this topic. I, I, you know, I'm sure you guys have more knowledge on this stuff. There's a lot of examples that, that could be given throughout the, the years of, of history. I'm sure of it that, uh, could very well, you know, also, um, uh, uh help back up the argument of, of the of the existence of secret societies that I'm not aware of. Um, but, you know, like using like, like, for example, the Soviet Union, Hitler, America, these are just a couple of them that I, I think are, you know, uh, good. So um, examples of, of evidence of secret societies. So anyway, thanks, guys. And I'll see you guys soon.